Hello, good morning, and welcome to GameSpot Presents The Mix right here at GDC 2015. I'm your host, Danny McGuire, and over the next two hours, we have a bunch of indie games to show you. In fact, so many indie games that I'm not going to do any more introducing. What's up, Tom Glant? How you doing, my friend? Good, how you doing? Uh, pleasure to have you here, first game up. Uh, this is a game that a couple of weeks ago we saw the trailer for here at GameSpot, and they basically every video <laughs> producer crowded around one screen and then pissed ourselves. Uh, Strafe, as a big sort of old school FPS fan, mm -hmm. is a game that I want to hear more about, so tell awesome. me all about it. Um, Strafe is a old school FPS, and that's all we got. No, it's a, <laughs> it's a procedural generated FPS, mm. so we author the rooms, we're making an experience, but you can like, the, the goal is to endlessly play it. So it's, you know, it has roguelike elements. Basically, I just really love Doom 2, I love Quake, mm. I love Spelunky, and I just wanted to like, Cram them together. Okay, you got me now. Quake and Spelunky together. Mm -hmm. uh, let's hop right in, because I know cool. you guys have, obviously there was gameplay in the trailer, you guys had an early version out on Kickstarter for people to sort of play themselves. Uh, this is a brand new build, right? Yeah, so this is a speedrun build, this is a locked seed, and ultimately, in the game, when you start out, you're given three options as to what primary weapon you want. <laughs> All right. We have the shotgun, the machine gun, and the railgun. So with these weapons, um, you're going to carry these throughout the game. They won't be the only weapon you get, mm. but you're going to be able to upgrade them as you go, so they'll get more ridiculous. Okay. So, you know, your shotgun is your basic shotgun, and the secondary so, oh. fire is a lot wider, and it has <laughs> the ability to penetrate enemies. Um, the machine gun, you know, your traditional bullet hose. Um, secondary is an explosion. Nice. And then the rail gun. A, a personal favorite. Yeah. Check that. We just put that smoke in. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then all fire. You can charge it up. Yeah. And if I don't suck. It's like Unreal Tournament shock rifle exactly, style, baby. Exactly. Yes. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna go with the machine gun because I suck at my own game. <laughs> no um, here's this photorealistic vista we put in. <laughs> Skyboxes, man. Take see. that, Bungie. Ooh. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, okay. Now if I can use the stairs, <laughs> guys, I shouldn't be drunk. It's a live demo. This you shouldn't right. be first thing on a Monday morning. Uh, okay, so this is the hub. Nice. In here, you know, you choose your weapon. Um, you know, we introduced the idea of like the food dispensers here. <laughs> uh, in the full game, this will be access to other play modes. Excellent. And you jump through here to the crash ship Icarus where you'll start the game. So in the speed run, you just kill stuff and get to the exit. So Once this is super early, people should know as well, based yeah, on. Yeah, the game like... isn't even 30% done. Mm. So I'm probably going to die a lot because. That's don't worry, like, yeah, well, the last thing we need is another super easy first person shooter, so don't worry about it, my friend. Um, this, uh, so this is a single player only game, I'm assuming. This is, you're not going down the line of trying to, we you know, make multiplayer deathmatch shooters. This is, uh, this is very much a, in the Spelunky style of playing it over and over and over and over very again, right? Very much so. We'll, we'll have competitive um, modes where you can like, almost like a daily challenge where you can lock the seed. Brilliant. And then have people compete against each other. Um, we are entertaining the idea of co-op right now, okay. but it's, it's really just a limited team size. Right. Um, but as far as like deathmatch and any modes where you're competing, mm. we, we don't want to compete with Quake because Quake is too great. Yeah, and and why play anything else? Yeah, and uh, you know, also that's kind of a, you know, tried and tested at this stage. Like the multiplayer, there, there are enough multiplayer, uh, like arena shooters. Even now, like with this sort of weird resurgence we've seen in the past year or so, uh, like even Quake Live is struggling a bit. Like the two of us were talking beforehand mm -hmm. about how we were playing it, but like not many people play that anymore. Uh, what yeah. you seem to be guys seem to be making here is like latching onto the sort of super popular uh, roguelike world and then. Crafting a you know a, a genre that has been you know much maligned in the past couple of years. Well, we're you know we're making it because we love it. Mm. I think yeah, roguelikes are very popular right now, but that's definitely not the reason we we jumped into it. it you know, it was a love of Spelunky and was a love of just that the core gameplay of mm. Quake. You know, just like picking it up, the real tight controls, the ability to air straight, like it feels great. So to be able to jump in and just have fun with that, oh man. I like how these guys fall over. I like these sort of weird. It's like it's got a real Quake 2 vibe to it, and then you shoot them and they just flop over all nasty. Yeah, yeah I'll you do can it. shred them up. It's great. <laughs> uh, when are you guys looking to get this out? Uh, I know you've had your Kickstarter, you had your trailer. Um, there is a version, like you said earlier, mm -hmm. about uh, when are you so looking to get So this is just a, you know, this is definitely a real rough pre-alpha speedrun build. But mm. um, later this year, we intend to release a shareware version, so you can just experience <laughs> the, the first few levels. Oh, you guys are really. And then, Leaning into this hard, I like it. Yep, let's grab these steroids, <laughs> run a lot faster. <laughs> and then, um. No, oh, it's like UFC. Okay. And then, with. We'll probably release the game, and um, we're trying to go for early 2016. Okay. But we're gonna, you know, definitely let the game dictate what it needs to be. 
because there's nothing worse than rushing a game out and just having it suck. Uh, one of the most critical p parts of any like successful arena shooter is level design. So how do you guys how are you guys like <laughs> coping with that alongside your procedural the procedural nature of these levels? Um, Eat your food, man. Oh man, broken, broken. It's really early, guys. <laughs> And ladies. Okay, I'll, I'll explain that to you um, right here once I have <laughs> a bit. Isn't it the best bit? Live demos, man. You got a whole week of this to look forward to. Trying to play your. This is what. This is the time in which like we have developers in and they wish they made an easier game. Yeah. Like you see the Dark Souls guys, they don't do live demos. Oh, that would, yeah, that would be <laughs> way too hard. Okay, so the one thing is um, all the gibs in the mm. game. Oh, whoa, whoa. You're putting a line down yeah, there. Or jibs. Sorry, you got, what jibs. are you going for? You got to I, I said stick jibs, your claim. but when I heard, I, I think Romero and the original team said it was jibs, jibs. and giblets, so I have to listen to the, you know, to him. I'm a gib fan, so, so I'm, a, I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, so yeah, it's all persistent, and this is stuff that, you know, if it hits the ceiling, it'll drip down on walls, <laughs> it'll run down. Like, this is just the first version of it. Mm. Uh, but we want to use it as a sense of ownership of the environment, as well as giving you a breadcrumb trail to like, okay, I've been in this space. You're not going to run through an empty room and right. just, you know, like really get annoyed. So as far as how procedural generations work, I will, you know, use this room as an example. Mm. Um, here's a potential door and we can like child pickups, enemies, different things to that. So if this mm. was shut down, we could have like a scrap bench here, you know, items for you to use. I'm mm. standing in acid. These, these <laughs> or walls, acid for you to stand in. Oh yeah, I'll explain that in a second. These walls will disappear um, if mm. there's doors that spawn behind them and there's like six different entry points. So this room has been authored yeah. for you to like basically have a fun experience. You can like, you know, play around in this in this beam. Enemies can get stuck in it. That'll kill you if you go into it. So mm. it's just like a fun little set piece. Do you but, run into problems where you've like spawned 20 dudes into a tiny little room full of crate barrels and shit that it's just gonna make it impossible to live? Um, not <laughs> yet, but I think I definitely think we're gonna run into that issue. That's a fun the, element though, The I big guess, so. issue we run into um, in a fun way, like I don't I don't know how to say it otherwise, is like this orange stuff mm. is it comes out of some enemies mm. and it's acid. We treat it kind of like um, the blood from alien. Yeah. So when you it's last applied, so if I were to kill this glutton right here and his blood is now covering up that acid. <laughs> so in the full game, you'll be able to like pick up corpses and throw them at acid if you're stuck in a Great. corner. I like it. It's been sorely missed from uh, first person shooters. How far are you from the end here? Um, we are, uh, we'll see how. Let's see how do. do you think you can do it? I probably, I'm going slow enough. Whoa, look at that, who, who was that dude? Uh, that's the stalker. Those guys, they'll try to find good vantage points away from you and then just lob projectiles at you so that we kind of, we love shmups too, mm. so being able to just fill a room with projectiles <laughs> so that you can dance through them, and that was also our power up. That's Rocha. pretty good. You'll shoot them, and you don't have to slow down. I, our three design decisions are basically keeping the game fast, mm. that's broken. <laughs> <laughs> and um, So we want to be able to keep the game fast so you can run through it. We want to fill the game with secrets and just make it as gory as possible. Mm. So. Excellent. Well, you seem to have succeeded on those at least at the in this uh, this early version. Uh, is this your guys' first game you're making? Yep. Awesome. Because your background is in is in. And for anyone who's seen the trailer, this makes complete sense. But your background is in editing or directing or. In directing music videos and commercials. Music videos and commercials. So what made you want to get into the crazy world of games development? I've been mapping since I was a kid. Oh really? You know, like it's it's one of those things where it's always been a hobby. Mm. And, you know, okay. In college, it was you know like your friends were playing. Quake, mm. um, Half Life Two just came out at that point, so as you know, Using I was hammer. playing Half Life Deathmatch. Yeah, playing Hammer. Um, well, sorry, playing with Hammer. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, when I forget which id tech it was, but when Doom Three came out, I really fell in love with that editor mm. because it was a lot easier to work with. Um, but yeah, ended up mapping a lot, really falling in love with it, and then when I found out that a friend of mine was able to program and actually really great at it. Mm. Um, I've been waiting like years for this Spelunky meets Quake style game and I was like, we'll just make it ourselves. <laughs> so the, yeah, you got impatient and the sort of stars aligned with your friend and oh, mm -hmm. this so exit door. This is the exit door. It intentionally moves very <laughs> slow so that if you, to cut, if you were to kite enemies here, yes. you back up, you have to fight them and then when the spark launches, you know you can fit oh, through the door. Oh, that's great. And then you lock your time by hitting the console. Oh, brilliant. And, um, so then you upload your times to the server and these are 
all our high score. That's excellent, people. based on the three different guns. Yeah. So that's the sort of speed zone version of Strafe. Obviously, the procedural yeah. version will be coming uh, once the, the game is released. Uh, it would be completely wrong of me to have you here, the creative mind behind that ridiculous trailer, <laughs> without showing some of that ridiculous trailer. Okay. Uh, so I think we, we have a, a look at it now. Uh, what was the idea behind this? Uh, because it, to me, it was. An indie studio, you expect a certain level mm -hmm. of quality for the trailer. Uh, maybe this would be like, you know, for a AAA game, it would look something this fantastical. But <laughs> like, how how did you guys come up with this concept? How well, much did it cost? It cost less than fifteen hundred dollars. Um, oh my god! We ended up shooting all of this in my programmer Steven's mm. like dining room. We went to his house. He emptied it out. We the filled it up room? with stuff from his childhood. His mom's yeah. kind of a pack rack, so she just kept all, like, all that stuff is legitimate. And then we bought a desk and a computer from Craigslist and just filled the space. That's ridiculous. Uh, I think you can, if you hit, is this your machine here? Oh. Can we hit play on it? Is that, nope. Uh, yeah. And it's just, you know, we, <laughs> we're making strafe because we love these, these older games. And I, <laughs> you know, I love to direct, I love to make videos. So yeah. it was just merging the two <laughs> things we love. Who is this kid? Um, actors we found locally. Really? Yeah, we shot this in Pittsburgh. Did anyone care that you were going to cover their children in, <laughs> in blood and especially the smaller child? Not to spoil was, it for anyone, but I was very worried about that. So I, I clarified multiple times with the parents beforehand. I'm like, we're going to make this cheesy. We're going to make it as fun as possible on mm. set, so it's not dark and like you were scarring your kid. Yeah. But yeah, they were very <laughs> cool. Uh, let's just let the let's just let it run. Let's pump up the volume on this and just enjoy it for everyone who's watching the stream. This is my favorite part. Cherry Coke? Yeah, yeah, cherry lamp. Coke? <laughs> like, no. This is my favorite part. No. This is my favorite. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. oh. You can't handle How the could you? intense Game gameplay. Play. It's a pretty it's great just line. A boy. Oh. There you go. Strafe coming. Uh, I guess we'll see more of it later this year, yep. uh, coming 2016. Um, anyone can check out this trailer themselves. Uh, and yeah, after GDC, we're going to be releasing the speed, um, the speed run build, the Excellent. new version, so that anyone can download it, anyone can have fun with it, and just try to like get on the top of the high scoreboard. Fantastic, Tom! Thank you so much oh, for coming you. on. Really appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of GDC. Actually, it would be wrong for me to make you leave it at showing the back of your oh. sick jacket. Uh, if you oh, like, oh. don't worry about it. If you like '90s games, there you go. Look at that. Just ridiculous. That's is that like sprayed on? Yeah, it's it's airbrush. Airbrush. <laughs> Wonderful.